Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping as well as can be expected during this lockdown period and you're managing to get some practice done. With that in mind, I hope you've seen Kerry's fantastic series of videos covering the basics of brass playing. Go and check them out on the band's Facebook page and YouTube channel. What I'm going to do is another series of videos covering some advanced tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your playing during lockdown. So today, I'm going to answer one of the most commonly asked questions, how do I play high? How do I get those high notes without it being uh, really painful or re sounding really thin? So I'm going to offer you three steps to help you improve your high playing. Step one, breathing. Now, when we breathe normally, we only use a small amount of our lung capacity. When we're playing a brass instrument, in general, we need as much air as possible, and especially when we're playing in those, in those high registers. So what I'd like to uh, talk you through is something I, I call two-stage breathing. It is breathing from the bottom of our lungs and then topping it from the top, like this. One, two. As you can see, I'm quite more, a bit more inflated than normal, aren't I? Because my lungs are at full capacity. So one more time, it's so that we're completely full of air, ready for step two. Step two, now that we've got a lung full of air in its maximum capacity, we need to put it through the instrument very, very quickly to get those highest notes, really fast air. So instead of in the medium register, you'd go a nice gentle air speed. For the high register, it needs to be uh, quite forceful almost through the instrument. So with our two-stage breathing, the best way to get it out of your lungs is when you've done the two stages, you push from the abdominal muscles first and then the intercostal muscles at the, towards the top of our lungs second. So. And that helps us push the air through the instrument really, really fast, which is what we need for the high register. Step three, tongue shape. So when we're playing high, the tongue needs to be in a position in the mouth, uh, like when we say E. So if you say E, you can feel that the tongue is really high in the back of the mouth, creating quite a small aperture for the air, to, the really fast air to go through. That's what we need for higher playing. When we're playing lower, it's more of an R shape. So there's a big aperture, so we get that big sound and we can get the lowest notes. The higher we get, the more we move it into an E shape, like So that, when we're at the very highest notes, needs to be E and it needs to be supported by the two-stage breathing and the fast air. So let's put some of this into practice, shall we? Uh, one of the best ways of doing this initially is with scales. Uh, so when we start at the bottom of the scale, we're making sure we're starting with a nice two-stage breath, so we've got full lung capacity. And as we move to the highest note of the scale, we're putting the air through faster and we're raising our tongue into an E position. Now you can do this on any scale, whatever's com most comfortable for you. And then once you've mastered that highest note in that scale, you can move on to the, maybe the next tone up scale or etc. etc. And you can keep pushing it the better you get at it. Let's just try it on a, on a G major scale, shall we? So as you can see, I got that one relatively easily. Why don't I try it on a C major scale in the higher octave? So I'm making sure I'm breathing nice and deep, and when I get to that very high C, that I'm putting the air through really fast, and my tongue's in an E position, otherwise it won't come out. There we go. Um, and if it's not working, uh, don't just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, really analyse it, think about it. Were you doing all of those steps? Because chances are, perhaps one of them, or maybe more, weren't been done quite enough what you got to do is just um you as humans we often think oh yeah that's fine but we can sometimes do more so think am i breathing as deep as i could be am i putting the air through fast enough is the tongue high enough in my mouth and when all of these three elements click we get a nice high top register so there you are, my three tips for helping you improve your high playing. If you have any suggestions for the next topic or any questions about this one feel free to get in touch uh, otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.